Madsters, welcome back. So I just wanted to make a video about University of Michigan sports and kind of the options that students have because sporting is obviously like huge for the University of Michigan. A lot of like, I don't know, people just like sports here. So I want to talk about all the options because obviously not everyone who comes here will be on a varsity team. Basically, there's three levels of sports. So obviously there's varsity. So, you know, you're recruited, you got a full ride scholarship, you get whatever, you're cool, basically. And let me mention that you will know a varsity athlete when you see them because they will have their athlete parka, which is like a blue winter coat, has a block M, super cool. They also have an athlete backpack, <laughs> and so it's like blue backpack that says Michigan on it. So like, you know athletes, when you see them, very cool people. Most of us are not varsity athletes, but you can still cheer on the varsity athletes. Some sports do have designated like student sections. So for football, obviously it's like kind of a whole big school thing, like in the big house and whatnot. So everyone goes to those games. If you're interested in basketball, then you can be part of Maze Rage. And these are the people that like wake up super early in the morning and camp outside in order to get like good tickets for the MSU, OSU, like the big basketball games. Hi, I'm Erica. So for basketball in like the fall and the winter, um, if you wanna be part of the Maze Rage, that's like, they have the court obviously, and then there's bleachers next to the court. So. I don't remember how many students it is, but I think it's like maybe 200 students get to sit in like the courtside bleachers. And to be those students, you have to wake up early on game day, like really early, like 5.30, 6 a.m., like even earlier, people like camp out for the big games. And it's like the first 100 students or 200 students or however many students it is, get a wristband and then you can sit in the maze rage. It's a little brutal when it's cold, because people are really, really dedicated, especially for the big games. They sit there for hours, so you do have to get there extremely early. But it is so worth it because being on the bleachers is so, so much fun. You're with all like the hardcore fans, and it's just a great time. So I actually recommend it. It's painful, but I really do recommend it. Just bundle up and you're good. So when you went, what game did you wait for? What time did you get there? And how long did you end up waiting? Um, I went for like a lot of games. The big ones were like Michigan State, Ohio State, like those you had to get there very, very early. A lot of like the earlier games you get there probably at like, like six in the morning. But the big ones, like people literally camp out the night before. So I think we went at probably like 530 in the morning. And I'm pretty sure we were like one of the last people to get a wristband because people were literally sleeping in tents. Oh. So it's intense. Okay, good yeah. to know. Um, I don't do that, but if you are interested, you can go right ahead. I happen to a basketball game. I was not in Maze Rage though, but it looks fun. If you're into that, that's really cool. So there's also one for hockey and that one's called Children of Yoast. I went to a hockey game. It was my first hockey game ever in my whole entire life. And it was very interesting. That was fun. They are extremely intense and like very hardcore. So I would say out of all the student sections, that one is the best. Like they have chants, they have cheers, like all the time. They are very crazy insane. My friend Vanessa goes like every single game. So those can be a lot of fun if you're into hockey. Besides that, there's the ultras who cheer on Michigan soccer. So Michigan soccer plays on South Campus. You can walk there, it's like a mile. Otherwise, sometimes there'll be buses that run there. But those are cool. They have like this huge drum that they bang and stuff. They also do some of the cheers. However, that is not as well attended as like hockey or basketball, obviously. And then finally, volleyball has the zone. I have also gone to a volleyball game. That was fun. Definitely like a smaller student section, but super cool. Like it's really cool when they play in Chrysler Center. Otherwise, there's field hockey, lacrosse, swimming and diving, track and field, baseball. I don't even know how many varsity sports that we have. Obviously, I've been to a bunch of gymnastics meets, which are always super cool. So yeah, there's a lot of options to get involved within the student sections because there's like actual leadership roles in there and like people make friends. So that's a cool thing to do. And I would highly recommend just attending the games. I'm not a big sports girl. Like at the basketball game I went to, I went for a quarter. At the hockey game I went to, I went for the first, I don't know, not trimester, the first third. 
but you know, got to go to experience it. Volleyball, I was there for about 20 minutes or like the first set. Soccer, I was there for literally 10 minutes because it was cold. I would love to get to all the sports one day just to say that I've gone. After that are club sports. So I'm actually a club sports supervisor, so I like check people in onto their roster. But Michigan has 30 club sports, which is really cool. Like club sports are a really big thing here. It really depends on the sport of how competitive it is. So for example, like baseball, they are very competitive. Like their team's pretty small, you know, like they do tryouts and everything. Soccer I know is competitive. Tennis is really competitive too. But on the other side, there's like gymnastics, which is totally open gym all the time, like not competitive. Some sports will have actual coaches, other sports will not. So it just kind of depends on what club you are looking at and what team. If you're interested, I would say look online, look on Instagram and like DM them because they'll probably help you out. Also online on May's pages, you can contact the president that way. So those are really great options. They're like men's rowing is considered club, but they're like very good. I believe like they do very well and they end up traveling and going to like really cool competitions as well as rugby. So rugby is not, we're like not D1 here. I don't really know the deal with that but rugby like at Michigan is very good as well. But there's a bunch of cool club sports. I know for myself doing gymnastics, it's been really fun to just like stay involved in the sport and still like do some of the skills that I used to be able to do. I'm absolutely trash now, but it's still fun. It's a great way to make friends. Practice attendance does depend on the sport. So I know like I supervise basically all the sports. Some are much more like you got to come to every practice. Like we actually are serious about this. There are additional fees to pay. It also varies by the sport. So I can't really speak to those just because it's different for everyone. Okay, something else that's also really cool is that cl some club sports do get to practice in varsity facilities. So you get like the really nice areas, um, like baseball practices on the like actual baseball field. Gymnastics goes in the varsity gym. Diving and water polo actually practice in Can-Am. So that's a cool thing too. Others do practice off campus though, so it really depends on which sport you're in. Also with that, club teams do have nationals, which is really cool. So I know my freshman year, like women's soccer went to nationals. I think right now soccer is about to go to nationals. Gymnastics has been to nationals. There are aspects where you get to travel with the team, you get to stay in hotels, you get to go to other universities. So that's kind of a cool thing to do here. And then finally is intramural sports. So I finally got to play I Am Sand Volleyball, which I was so excited about. But each semester, there are two sessions of sports, each offering different things. So there's like sand volleyball, kickball, dodgeball, soccer, flag football. My friend did tricycle polo, which he said was like super difficult. There's volleyball, pickleball. Like there's so many intramural sports that you can do. You can do it like co-ed or just single gender. You can do it with your uh, fraternity or sorority, or you can just do like your friends. There's the rec league, like very low level versus more competitive. There's a lot of options that way. It's $8 for like one season or $15 for the whole semester. I just did one season, so I just did the $8 sand volleyball. Super low commitment. There's like games like once a week for a month, which is, I don't know, it's a fun thing to do. People really enjoy that. So overall, I would say that Michigan has a lot of options for a wide range of skill levels. There's also like the tennis courts and sand volleyball courts, like ping pong tables, basketball courts that are all just open for general use. Even if you're a complete beginner, you can probably join a sport too. I know M Run is like the running club here. I don't know if they compete, but I know like anyone can join that. Club gymnastics, anyone can join. There's like taekwondo karate and boxing i'm sure anyone can join that like definitely during festival like check out the clubs that you're interested in there's a ton and reach out to the instagram accounts or just email the president if you're interested but yeah i would say it's a lot of fun a really really great way to make friends if you grew up kind of like in athletics and you know like your teammates were your best friends so that is a really great perk and I really enjoy being able to do that and kind of have a similar like gymnastics family as I had before. If you do join a club team, I might be your club sports supervisor. I absolutely love this job. And yeah, uh, let me know if you have any other questions and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye Madsters.